My name is David Sally. We're sitting in my studio in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. I've always been a figurative painter. I was making paintings populated by people in interior spaces when I was a kid. And in a way, I've been making the same painting ever since I was 14. When I was younger, I was hungry for a kind of dialogue that centered around intention and meaning and interpretation, things like that. Now I find, as I'm older, I'm just interested in the f kind of first level reaction. Yes, no, good, not good, finished, unfinished. I always start with the complete frame of reference, which is to say the, the, can the large canvas. The paintings are made of, sometimes they're made of a large panel with smaller panels inset into them. I'm not even sure why, but for some reason it makes a difference that there's separate panels that are actually set into windows cut in the painting. They're not simply applied on top. The inset panels sometimes function as a punctuation. I don't plan out the works in advance. I have a, a vocabulary of images and motifs that I'm working with at any given time in the work. And I know that I want to bring those things into some kind of alignment, but I don't know ahead of time what exactly that alignment's gonna be. Um, I'm pairing the, the word or the phrase with a figurative element, a very strongly painted figurative element, and a, another element which is in this case, a silk screen made from a photograph I took. In this context, and I think of it as joining abstraction and figuration and language, those three elements. I'm interested in seeing the body in space in a way that we don't normally encounter it. I'm interested in the effects of gravity, and so you see these poses of the model turning and twisting and sort of pulling herself up or down. And I don't even know what these people are doing. They're just doing some funny gestures, which I thought was kind of an interesting starting point. It was carefully choreographed. We had to lift these people up and set them down in precisely the right place on the canvas. And then, because they couldn't get up because they're covered with paint, we had to then pick them up again and set them down on the floor. So it was a really kind of a hilarious parade of people coming in and out of the shower and being painted and being printed. I think that this, um, why does this painting work, or rather, why do I think it works, rather, is to create a path for your eye to take through the painting. And in this painting, it's, your eye keeps circulating around in kind of figure eight, and then back again, and then into, into deeper space, and then back to the surface of the canvas. I think a good painting is something which has immediate impact and at the same time is something which rewards a long, longer prolonged viewing time. And the longer you look at it, the more interesting it becomes. But it can, it can also always go back to that starting point of just great immediacy and that's something that's very satisfying. And if it's only one or only the other, I think it's, it's uh, missing something. Thank you.